Hello and welcome to Venice. Before the level starts, hold action and she will land on the slope quicker. Then do a jump twist. Draw your guns and shoot the poor doggo. It doesn't matter if you don't kill it. Delay your jump slightly to avoid taking damage. Take a dip in the water. Remember how I said that most corner bugs work at a 45 degree angle? The same applies underwater. We call this a swim corner bug. Pull out a flare and align the middle of Lara with this line on the wall. You can tap sidestep left or right to correct her position. I recommend making a save here to practice rather than having to set it up again. So let's do that. Turn right at a 45 degree angle. Swim down and hold right just before she embeds into the wall at the bottom. Lara will fall down backwards from the top and land on the awning above. We use the flare to cancel the stumble which allows us to do a standing jump immediately after. Let's try that. There are different outcomes if you hold right too soon before embedding, or simply get the wrong angle. Turn around, find the camera angle, it is quite lenient, press roll and down to pop out. Another is Lara can only travel up and down, simply face the water and near the edge turn left while falling to land on the awning. This outcome is quite rare. She will suddenly go down after pressing back and roll near the camera. Just press jump to get out. Hop back, straighten up and face the window. Do a running jump and grab. Draw your guns and shoot the glass. Curve slightly right to avoid bonking on the ceiling. And pull the switch down. You can press look or draw guns to cancel the camera, whatever you prefer. Do a jump twist. Don't hold left or right when climbing up, as that can alter Lara's angle. Step backwards once and Lara will pop forward slightly. Do a running jump back onto the awning. Let's make our way to this lever. Draw your guns to cancel the camera. We are going to do a running jump twist halfway past the door and then count three breaststrokes in the water while heading to the right wall. On the third, you begin to surface. This gives a good position to climb up, especially when it is really dark and you can barely see anything. You do eventually get used to it. One, two, three. If you aren't in the middle of the tile, just remember to curve towards the middle in order to land on the flare pack ahead. Start with a standing jump into a running jump and press grab to pick up the flares. Jump forwards and grab to fall into the water. Get out and climb this ladder. Stick to the right side. Now we are going to swim to the double doors at the end, near the underwater mines. If this guy is shooting you, you can hook the left wall. Do you see the seam in between these two doors? 
you want to be running straight at it on the left side. If you turn slightly to the right, she will run on the spot and stay in a fixed position. Anything more than a 45 degree angle and she will run across the door and we don't want that. So this is good. Roll. I would make a save as the next part can be tricky. We are going to perform the underwater walking glitch. Cover the brown texture on the bottom left of her right shoe, near where her toes are. Here is the angle range where the swan dive works. The far left angle and the far right angle Anything in between is good. When you have the right angle, I would recommend making a save now during a run. Do a running jump swan dive and she should enter a different state where she can walk underwater. Pull out a flare and head to the door. Throw away the flare. This causes what we call the ghost glitch. She randomly starts running on the spot and with this Lara can travel through walls and this door. We don't know why it happens randomly. Sometimes she won't get the ghost glitch at all. If that happens, simply reload the save and try again. Run at the door, wiggle through by alternating between left and right and say goodbye to Venice.